Hello and welcome to this special series. Air is essential for human life, but as urban populations rise indiscriminately, so does human activity, so does consumption, and ultimately, air pollution. What follows is the outcome we've become all too familiar with in recent times. This air pollution makes us fall ill and shortens our life expectancy, according to a recent study by experts. Now, according to this report, air pollution is shortening Indians' lives by nine years. 48 crore people in North India are being negatively impacted by rising pollution levels. And if this is left unchecked, the entire nation could fall under its influence. This campaign, Viram Agenda Sustainability by Mobius Foundation and India Today Group, realizes the need for collective effort and commitment to take effective measures in this direction. In today's show, we'll try and understand the relationship between population growth and air pollution, as well as its long-term consequences. Air. Breathing and our existence. The connection is undeniable. Even more than food or water, air is essential to life. But the air pollution is the biggest threat to the environment and human health. Clean air is a global issue today. But the skies have been infused with poison, with us and the entire population responsible for it. जितनी समस्याएं हैं चाहे वो प्रदूषण की हो चाहे क्लाइमेट चेंज की हो चाहे बायोडाइवर्सिटी की हो वो जनसंख्या से जुड़ी हुई है जितने लोग उतने मुंह उतने जरूरतें उतना खाना मकान और सारे संसाधन इंक्रीज कंजम्पशन इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशंस एंड डिक्रीजिंग एयर क्वालिटी ड्यू टू व्हीकल एग्जॉस्ट are all effects of a rapidly expanding population. The challenges that we face are the lifestyle challenges. We are traveled by cars that causes a lot of pollution and we are using energy which causes pollution and we need energy for our everyday living. So these are the challenges which have to be overcome in case we want to have less air pollution. According to the World Health Organization, Air pollution kills 70 lakh people worldwide each year. In the Southeast Asian subcontinent of India, Bangladesh, Pakistan and Nepal, there are more than 20 lakh fatalities per year. 1.2 lakh infants fall victim and succumb to air pollution every year in India. About 92% of the world's population is breathing in polluted air, grossly exceeding the prescribed standards. The World Bank claims that South Asian nations suffer from air pollution the most. Air pollution in India is a very serious problem because National Clean Air Program started for this purpose that you are violating the ambient air quality standards in which city in India. In that time, we have identified 132 cities already identified as the most polluted city in India. The impact and consequences of air pollution on health of humans is substantial. Chances of people developing ailments such as asthma, lung illness, heart disease and cancer are high. It is time to wake up and bring population development into the right balance so that our children can also breathe fresh air and live their lives the way they deserve. If air pollution brought on by haphazard development and indiscriminate emissions is not reduced today, then this earth will cease to be suitable for our future generations to live on. In 2022, the Centre for Science and the Environment, the CSE, published a report on pollution in North Indian cities. CSE examined particulate matter 2.5 data from 2021 in 56 North Indian cities for their research. Now, according to the study, the cities of Ghaziabad, Delhi, Faridabad and Noida are the most polluted. Let's see how some of the most polluted cities in the nation are actually doing. Mumbai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Bangalore, 
and Jaipur. We learned from the lockdown of 2020 that the pollution in our cities is solely a result of human activities. Pollution appeared to vanish when factories were shut down, vehicles were off the road, and emissions were reduced. If you see that during the COVID times, how the air cleared up, the sky cleared up, the sky was blue, and even the river turned blue and, and clear. However, as the population increases, we use more vehicles. As the population increases, we use more energy, and this all causes pollution all around. Then why is it today that our Delhi is at the top of the most polluted cities in the world? Sometimes even Mumbai, and sometimes the city Bhiwari. According to the World Air Report 2020, 22 of the world's 30 most polluted cities are in India. Shahari Karan or Dyogi Karan or Badati Vivano ki Sankhya ye sub scale is in Medar. Or even the Ujwala Yojana for clean fuel and promotion of CNG and now EVs are just a few of the actions our governments and agencies have made to reduce air pollution and enhance air quality. Unfortunately, these efforts have not yet been able to address the situation given the alarming levels of PM2.5 and PM10. We have with us Prathana Bora, Director CDP India. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much. Every major city of the world is affected by air pollution. The population of big cities of India has increased wildly. How serious is this condition of pollution in our cities like Delhi or Mumbai as compared to other big cities of the world? Asian cities are in a very different position as far as air pollution is concerned. If you look at a study done by a very reputed organization uh, which studied about 200 odd Asian cities and, and the study revealed that 99% of these cities have unhealthy air pollution levels as compared to you know, the rest of the world. And the, the difference in these cities is the fact that these are what we call developing cities and in emerging economies. And because of that, each of these cities has a huge transport need, a transport problem, as we call it. Uh, there is a demand for energy and um, the energy needs are so large that, you know, obviously the, the question of cheap power comes into place. And finally, these are developing cities, developing in an unplanned manner. So their construction needs are very high. So the question on how serious is the problem for a country like India is more in the context of not just dealing with air pollution that exists now, but air pollution that we are expecting in the future because of the transition that we are all going through. Can you also tell us what can be the measures to prevent air pollution in cities? Where does India actually stand in comparison to other countries of the world in taking some of these measures? Air pollution is a complex issue. It is uh, not just about air, it goes beyond air. So obviously there is a question of, of what we are trying to address when we're talking about air pollution. And when I say what we are trying to address, I think the source becomes very important. Understanding the source becomes very important, as does the, the type and quantity of pollutant. So, which brings me to my first um, response. I think measurement is something that is still not adequate in countries like ours. Because if you look at some cities, I mean, I'm not talking about a Delhi or a Mumbai, which is slightly in an advanced level in terms of generating data on air. air. If you look at some cities, they practically are uh, relying on a single monitoring station for data. So how does one actually estimate what is the pollutant that is impacting the city or even where is the source? So I think one of the issues that needs to be addressed in countries like India and where cities world over have had a very positive experience is the issue of hyperlocal measurement. Thank you, Prarthana Bora, for joining us here. It's time for a short break on agenda sustainability. After the break, we'll see how efforts are being made at the government level in India 
and what we can do to stop pollution at our level. Today, we're talking about the relationship between population growth and air pollution. The government of India and other state governments under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi are making many efforts to deal with air pollution at their own level. So let's see what the government wants to achieve through this law. Every city has its own different geographical state, every city has its own different location, every city has its own different things. अपनी सिटी का एयर शेड को भी पहचानना हो शहर को साफ रखना और शहर की हवा को साफ रखना ये हम सब की जिम्मेदारी उद्योग में स्वच्छ ग्रीन एनर्जी पर जोर देना ही होगा रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी की ओर जाना ये हम सब का मिशन है हम दुनिया को अगर अच्छा बनाना चाहते हैं देश को अच्छा बनाना चाहते हैं आने वाली जेनरेशन के लिए अच्छा बनाना चाहते हैं और आप ये मान करके चलिए कि हवा हमारे अपने बच्चे भी लेते हैं तो नई जनरेशन को भी इस हवा से हम बचाने के लिए शहर की हवा को कैसे साफ रखें इसको एक मिशन के नाते ले रहे हैं द इश्यू इज सिग्निफिकेंट एंड इट्स कॉन्सिक्वेंस इज क्लियरली वेरी वेरी ग्रेव वी स्पोक टू डॉक्टर संदीप नायर टू अंडरस्टैंड टू व्हाट एक्सटेंट डज एयर पोल्यूशन हैव एन इफेक्ट ऑन आवर हेल्थ डॉक्टर थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी आउट हियर हाउ इज अ हेल्दी पर्सन एट रिस्क फ्रॉम एयर पोल्यूशन इन अ सिटी लाइक दिल्ली और मुंबई so unfortunately this urbanization has caused more problem for all of us whether it's a delhi or a mumbai or any other metro city once we start moving to these places and we start living in this uh, polluted area so right from head to toe each and every part of our body is getting affected it's not only that it is causing air pollution is causing problem only in the lungs because once the pollutant goes inside our lungs it will go into our body in each and every part of the body we go through the blood it can goes there so there are n number of studies that directly the heart is getting affected the kidneys are getting affected the liver is getting affected so all parts of the body is getting affected so not only that it causes the problem in uh, breathing it causes problem in living and there are cancers which are occurring because of the pollution so uh, we have to be very careful and have to really take good strict measures thank you dr sandeep for joining us governments are serious at their level but when we are suffering from pollution then we and the entire human population will have to participate at our level as well well the people themselves can do a lot to help absorb the pollution so especially by greening by greening i mean you can put your balconies put some green plants for the for, for the balconies for the railings for the staircases this can be done besides a lot of the things can be recycled this is a very important thing as far as air pollution is concerned is to recycle everything uh, that you can especially the waste which is usually burnt instead of burning it if you recycle it that will reduce the air pollution by quite a bit then pollution will be controlled in a recent research study published in a journal growing forests is the only way to keep the world cool it's been said in this research that if the danger of climate change and pollution is to be avoided then the people on earth will have to plant at least 1 lakh crore trees the japanese method of creating forests known as miyawaki advances this way of thinking see how great noida resident vikrant tongar is actually using this method to grow trees while also attempting to prevent pollution miyawaki The method was created by botanist Akira Miyawaki of Japan. It allows for the preparation of a forest by the planting of three different plant species, including shrubs, medium-sized trees, and huge shade-giving trees, even on sparse and barren terrain. Mini Miyawaki forests can even be cultivated in the yard or a neighboring open area because of simplicity of this urban forest category technique. Almost 3000 forests have been created using this method. so far in the world one such forest has been constructed by environmentalist vikrant tongar a local of great noida's kheri bhanota village jis tarah se population badh rahi hai jis tarah se pollution badh raha hai jis tarah se land ke crisis ho raha hai kyunki zameen kam hai 
पौधे में कोई जमीन नहीं देना चाहता क्योंकि पौध लोगों को लगता है कि पौधा लगा देने से क्या उसकी कोई कोई आर्थिक लाभ तो है नहीं तो ऐसे में जिस काम से कोई आर्थिक लाभ नहीं है एनवायरमेंट का बहुत लाभ है तो जमीन देने को तैयार नहीं है जमीन का पहली क्राइसिस है इंडिया जैसी कंट्री में जहाँ एरिया हमारे पास बहुत कम है और दुनिया की 19-20 परसेंट आबादी हमारे देश में रहती है तो मियाँ वाकी को अगर सिंगल लाइन में अगर हम कहें तो मियाँ वाकी वो एक तकनीक है जिसमें कम जगह में ज़्यादा पौधे लगाए जाते हैं जिससे कि ज़्यादा ऑक्सीजन आ सके ज़्यादा ग्रीनरी डेवलप हो और फास्ट ग्रोथ हो सके जो जंगल छः सात साल में तैयार होता है कन्वेंशनल तरीके से उसको दो तीन साल में तैयार करना है वो एक तरीका है मियाँ वाकी जो काफ़ी पॉपुलर हो रहा है गवर्नमेंट भी इसे अप्रिशिएट कर रही है The level of pollution in cities is undoubtedly being reduced by governments, but we all share responsibility for this. The time has arrived for us to work together and progress towards sustainable, balanced growth.